MIME stands for Multimedia Internet Mail Extensions, and MIME types were designed for email attachments. Email from its inception was only ever able to send plain text, and in fact, it does that to this day. Whenever email attachments, whenever you attach files to an email, it actually converts those files to plain text in an encoded format, which generally tends to make them a lot larger than they actually are, and then sends the entire email message as only plain text printable characters. This is one of the reasons why email is just absolutely a horrible thing and should be eliminated from our lives, not just because it sucks up time, but because it's a very bad, very outdated protocol. But this isn't a class about email. This is a class about web servers. So we will talk about why you would want to use MIME types or need to make sure that MIME types are set correctly and how to set those MIME types for your web server. You know, examples of MIME types include uh, content type text HTML and a character set. Uh, it could be application JSON could be a content type of video slash MP4. There are dozens and dozens of possible MIME types, and this is where you run into problems because servers ship with some default MIME types, and then in the Apache server, you use add type to add new MIME types to your own individual configuration files. You don't really want to edit the default uh, MIME types. You don't you don't want to go in and edit the the main file that is for the whole server. You can use the add type command in your Apache configuration to specify additional files that you need to include on your server or on a website that you want to be able to download properly. There's a different method in IIS and in fact I believe that's a GUI. We'll take a closer look at that in the lab perhaps to make sure we do this right. The example screenshot here is it's not really an example. This is an actual snippet of the Henry Ford College main website uh, configuration file. This is a common setting that I use on all of our websites that run off of that server. And these are all the file types that I've had to add or otherwise uh, when the web server serves these files, browsers will sometimes download those incorrectly. You'll notice that uh, the Microsoft Office files are pretty messy and pretty gross. So sometimes you get lucky and browsers will automatically detect many file types by extension or even content. In fact, I've seen cases where image files don't have the right extension, but because the first few characters of an image file specify the file type, uh, for example, JPG, PNG, or GIF files all have headers at the beginning of them. Most browsers and other viewers can actually correct for it, even if the file extension is wrong. The big problem is when a web server doesn't tell you the right MIME type and the browser can't figure it out, it'll either detect it as text or plain format, or it'll force the user to download a file when it's actually something you wanted them to be able to view on the page or view in the browser. Um, no matter what, proper configuration is always the best approach. So whenever adding a new different file type to your web server, you might want to just make sure that it downloads correctly in a browser or displays correctly in a browser, I should say. And if it doesn't, and if it says something weird like text plane or application octet format, you can usually just do a Google search, figure out what the correct MIME type would be for your file that you're trying to set up, add it to your server's configuration. Sometimes you then have to clear browser cache, things like that. Try again, and hopefully the next time, once you've got all that set correctly, the file will display as intended in a browser.